I don't need to remind anybody, but I will. This is Westmount, Sebastian. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't put rotting vegetables, gourds, whatever, whatever you want. You don't put it out there. Anything. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to see a mess so out now, on my street, Matthew. Do you th- do you, do you suspect that these gourds will? make it all the way until spring perhaps will they be frozen now that the cold weather is upon us and they'll stay in some sort of uh stasis state until spring has arrived unchanged well i was worried about that and (laughs) uh, i didn't think it would happen but now three weeks in yeah i am worried and i think i do need to bring this to the public's attention i need to bring this to the West Mountain Independent. And I feel like if they're writing stories about patio doors of vacant houses being open, but no, no crimes going on within, mm-hmm. uh, they'll, they'll take this story. They'll be glad. I'll get the front page with this story. <laughs> I can send them my pictures. I've taken pictures, different angles. I'm ready. How many angles? What is the camera? From the roof. Okay. From, Why are you uh, going on the roof? To take, to take some aerial shots of okay. the pumpkins. Yeah. Not supposed to be on the roof. No, exactly. So I don't so hand those pictures in. So who is the real criminal, Matthew? For my own files. I'm not publicizing one, one them. One for trespassing yep. or one for misuse of a gourd? There's going to be there's gonna be more crimes if this doesn't get solved because there's going to be gourds, mushy old gourds flying through windows pretty soon. Oh, boy, Matthew. You know how, <laughs> you know how I get about you, gourds. You're, t- you're turning into a mad criminal, perhaps a young, a handsome young uh, uh, Manson type. No, I was. <laughs> that's that's uh, a compliment and a, and, a, and a horrifying vision. I mean, you could you could be very influential. Yes. Once you throw a gourd through a window, people might change their minds. Yeah. Once I throw one gourd, and I got six more to go. <laughs> uh, mass <laughs> mass gourd murder. You'd be just destroying <laughs> these these jack o' lanterns. Yeah, they were destroyed the moment they were left out there past October. <laughs> yeah. All right, Matthew. The frost bit him. The frost bit him. Yeah. Poor Jack Frost biting jack o' lanterns. Jack on Jack crime. Yeah. Um, it's a jack off. <laughs> <laughs> now, Matthew, uh, during during our meal. I misunderstood something. You're getting over a cold. You just had a little cough there. Yeah, there's, there's you, coughs. You, you said that you had been sick for a week. Yeah. But lately my ears have been playing tricks on me. I heard you say that you had been sitting for a week. Hmm. Or no, that you had not been sit. That you did not sit for a week. Oh, okay. Well, that's, You'd been um, sick yeah. for a week. You did not sit for a week. Somehow that confusion happened. Hmm. And I thought that was... Kind of impressive. Admirable, even, eh? Mm-hmm. I thought mm. that you had perhaps been only in two positions for an entire seven-day period, standing or lying down. Do you think that would be difficult, Matthew? No, I don't. Standing? Sure. Sure. Not sitting? Yeah, until you add that little extra lying down bit. Well, I mean, think about it. You're in bed. Sure. Morning comes. cock a doodle do. Rooster o'clock. Yeah. You sit up, you go, curse you, rooster, you're sitting. Boom. Failed. Day one. Morning one. Barely even open my eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You have to roll out of bed immediately into a standing position. You go to use the washroom. You have to poop. What to do? What to do? It's uh, you'd, That would be the hardest part. I guess you'd have to hover. You'd you could have, hover. To, you'd have to crouch down. I don't think. No, I think you have to say standing or lying down. I think you would have to stand, legs akimbo, hmm. fists on your hips, and just poop like that. Okay, it's a powerful stance. Yeah, I think it is. Um, but you know, no showing one, the toilet who is boss. Yeah, I think at that point you just do it all in the tub. Oh, just just in your shower. But then, what, how is it going down the drain? So your shower ends with you mushing poop. Down the drain? <laughs> Depends. You what are you a, using? Your you have, back scrubber? Yeah, no, no, you no. You need no. that I'm back scrubber you have, for your back. You have some hot water and you carry a, and you take in with you a big tub of Javel. Some, <laughs> so some you've bleach. got a jug of bleach. Yeah, that'll wash anything away. Oh, Matthew, this sounds awful. It's not what I'm going to do. This is <laughs> this is just in the hypothetical situation where I don't get to sit down for a week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, this is maybe how I would live my life. This story reeks of like an MTL blog 
type of type of thing. Like man doesn't sit for a week, lies down often. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, but it sounds like a West Ham, West Ham independence story. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, I don't know. I think I could definitely do it though, because I've been sick for a long time. Um, that, go that, on. I, I set things up poorly there. You I, have been sick for I a long time. Sick. You're turning into another Manson. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, if I get the flu, especially when I was younger, I'd get the flu. I'd be out for like a week. Lying okay. down all week. Oh. If I sat up, that was I didn't like the feeling. It made me want to throw up. Lie mm. down. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it'd be a really easy um, goal to reach. Well played, Matthew. Well played. Mm-hmm. You may not be a Manson after all. There's still time. Although you do have the dark hair and beard of a Manson type, the uh, uh, lifeless eyes. <laughs> That's not true. Your eyes are actually smiling right now, filled with joy. Your pleasure to be around, Matthew. Thank you. Charming as a Manson. Now, <laughs> Matthew, one last thing before we get to rating our burgers for yes. this, this lost episode. Take two. I hope this episode gets lost because it's painting me in a, in a very like quite I've, the light. In this, take one, yeah. You did not come out as badly in take one. No, in take two, I'm I'm talking I'm I'm talking about. Uh, how great of a guy Manson was, how I am similar to Manson. I'm talking about uh, pushing poop, poop down, 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 the, the, down your the shower top. drain. And not with a loofah or a back, back scraper, with a with Javel taking bleach into the now, tub. Uh, speaking of bathrooms, Matthew, one last thing. I went to the washroom at this restaurant. Yeah. Bad lighting in the washroom, good lighting in the restaurant. The other thing I didn't like about the washroom. Sensors. I have a problem a lot with of people all censoring these. your work in the bathroom. No, no. Uh, 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 sink sensors, toilet sensors, soap sensors. All yeah. these sensors. Just let me use my hands. Let me be a hands-on approach on this. When it comes to using the toilet, when I stand up to wipe after a poop okay. on a toilet, Matthew, like a normal person, it flushes. <laughs> I'm not done. I still need to wipe. Now yeah. I've wiped. I've thrown my uh, sanitary tissues, yeah. napkins, toilet paper, as the layman say, into the toilet. <laughs> sure. And now I won't flush again. I'm sitting down. I'm standing up. Am I sitting down long enough? It's still not flushing. I'm waving around. I'm doing a dance in front of the toilet. What's going on? Finally, it flushes when I leave the stall, giving up. Yeah. Exhausted, disappointed in myself. Sweating. Yes. I go to wash my hands. I put my left hand in. I take my left hand out. No water. I put my left hand in again. <laughs> okay. That's really a, the dirty hand, I guess. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, no. The right hand is busy trying to wave soap out of the dispenser. Oh, you're, you're doing it. You're doing I'm a lot. Multitasking. Yeah. I stick my left hand in, and I shake it all about. Okay. I do the hokey pokey. I turn myself around. I still don't have running water. It's, uh, this is, this better not be happening in Westman. This is, uh, this is, this is headline news. Yeah. You know, man does the hokey pokey in the washroom. (laughs) In public washroom (laughs) arrested. (laughs) Um, so yeah. So the sensors are are not very responsive is what you're saying. Or I see I've had, I've had similar issues and sometimes, sometimes too responsive, sometimes too responsive. Sometimes they're responsive just fine, but they, the, the amount of time that they're on for. Mm-hmm. Not enough time. Yes. Like maybe not enough soap. Uh-huh. Maybe not enough water. You don't know how dirty my hands are. No, don't, don't. Yeah, that's the thing. It's with the sensors. You don't, that left hand. You don't get to tell me when to flush. Yeah. You don't get to tell me how much soap I got in my hand. You can tell me. And you already get to tell me what temperature the water is going to be. Because yeah. normally I can't decide what is, hot or cold. What is this communist country where I don't have the free will to decide that I need two pumps of soap? No. Nay, three as many as you need. Yeah, you know, to each their own, as they yeah. say. If you're going to have sensors, let them be sensors. As long as my hand is there, that is as much soap as I will get. Now, there is one sensor that I do not mess with. What? The air dryer sensor. You don't even... You don't even uh, I don't air dry. Well, you, you've gone... You have three strikes. Exactly. You're not giving them a fourth. That's it. It's out. Okay. We're out. Um, 
I heard some years ago that uh, hand dry blower air thing, hot air blow on your hand dryer, hand dryer, I guess is what it's called, is just a festering home for germs. Because it's hot, but not hot enough to kill the germs. Uh, and it lives in a bathroom. So there's going to be, or a washroom, there's going to be germs abound. Hmm. So it's just going to blow hot germs all over your hands while you rub them together. Yeah. Sounds like a terrible idea. So I've taken to the strategy of wiping my hands on my pants. Huh. I know where my pants have been. I yeah. know that my pants are clean. Let me just wipe my hands. Clean? Well, not always. Honestly, now that you mention it, sometimes you go use a urinal and you get a little splash back. That seems like a couple little droplets end up on the pants. You're wearing a light color pants. That's pretty obvious now. Yeah. Now, double whammy, I dry my hands on my pants. People go, oh, why are your pants so wet? Did you pee yourself? No. I wipe my hands on my pants. You don't know the difference. Adam Sandler would be proud. All the cool kids are pissing their pants. <laughs> it's the coolest. Uh, yeah, I I guess. But, I mean, this seems to, to go against your whole thing about not wanting germs. Because now if you're urinating all over your pants, aren't you not just spreading more germs? Or they're your own germs, so it's okay. Well, I don't think it's necessarily a lot of germs. If you get if you get stung by a jellyfish, aren't you supposed to pee on it because the ammonia is going to disinfect it? Yeah, Pee's like the cleanest thing there is. They say that, but I don't know how. I don't know if it's I don't the know if anyone's saying that. I don't but know if it's I know the cleanest thing. I'm saying Matthew. Yeah. What I'm saying is, are you ready to rate your burger? I'm almost ready. I'm almost there. I want to. I want to. I want to just for the record. I want to tell everybody out there. I did not use the urinal, and uh, and I have no regrets. You do not use the urinal. I do not. Why is that, Matthew? It's uncomfortable. There's people around. I don't know uh, how far down to take my pants to use. You the urinal. don't take them down at all. You open the fly. That's what the fly is for. You unzip the fly. You reach and you. Uh, I know what you do. You hook out. You pull out. You unfurl. Yeah, but I find that's like... You relieve yourself? Yeah, but that's like looking for something in your pocket, and you're like, you know, or like a like a big knapsack. Uh, you're, you're digging through something for something else. This isn't else. like a woman's extra-large purse. There aren't that many things in that one pocket. I like to just... It's a pretty I, exclusive pocket. If I'm looking for something... My right-hand pocket, I usually only have my phone in. Sure. I reach in, what am I finding? My phone. It's not complicated. Yeah, but I got a lot of stuff in my pockets, and like for, for, and for a bag... I'm emptying that bag out on the floor. That middle pocket, there are a maximum of three things in there. Mm -hmm. And one of them is your penis, Matthew. (laughs) Yeah, I just, I haven't mastered the the art of it yet, and I don't think I ever will. And it's too late for me to keep trying, so I figure... The region hook? That whole thing, and it just, it's a weird, it's a weird situation to be in. Because some other guy can walk right up beside you. I don't know where to look. If I look away, then... Face forward, Matthew. Face, face forward. Face forward, but like, what am I, I... I look like a robot. I look like I'm trying too hard not to look around. You can look at your own business. But I don't want to seem incompetent to, that I have to look down <laughs> to make sure that everything's going... And, but and, evidently you are, because you have trouble just performing this simple maneuver but I know that my, even young children can. I know my limitations is, is what I'm saying. So That's I go, honest with yourself. I go into the stall, and jokes on everybody else out there at the urinal just... You know, being being in the public's eye because I got my own little stall here. I'm doing my own thing. Do whatever I want. What are you doing in say? Have you ever been to a sporting event where there's just the the, the shared trough? That it's just like a waterfall with a big trough, and every man just moseys on in there, shoulder to shoulder with another fellow, and they just do their business. You are painting a nightmarish image of sporting events. Is this? Is this a real thing? Just a big trough? Absolutely. Men shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Naked. <laughs> Not naked. That's the thing, Matthew. I don't know why they're naked. Naked they're from the waist down. Not, no, they're not. They're simply pulling out the appropriate equipment for the job of relieving themselves. Not even just like a, like a, a slight takedown of their pants and underpants. I don't understand why there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a flap there's a hole there's you could just extract. I guess that's why a lot of people end up with their flies down. Yes.